With us now is Gitanjali Rayo, and you might think of her, and you might think of time. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. So you are extraordinary. You've done something that no one else has done ever. So what is that? Yeah, so I look to help use science and technology as a catalyst for social change in our community. So I innovate and come up with ideas. I've created a device to help detect for lead in drinking water, another to diagnose for opioid addiction, and a service to help detect and prevent cyberbullying at an early stage. At what age did you realize that you're a STEM kid? S-T-E-M. How young were you? I think I want to say the ripe old age of four, right? I was always learning, coming up with ideas. But um, when I was four years old, my uncle got me the science kit that obviously changed my life forever. But I think really regarding the aspect too, I started to realize how my passion for science can tie into my passion for quite literally putting a smile on someone's face. You have a lot of hobbies too. It's not like you're just a geek. You're a very well-rounded human. Uh, what are some of the um, hobbies and interests that you like to enjoy? Yeah, I love playing the piano. I love swimming. I love baking a lot, um, especially in the summer. I love hanging out with my friends. Um, and I'm also working on getting my pilot's license. Your pilot's license. That's exciting. Yeah. So up, up in the air in the uh, deep blue sky. So for the first time ever, speaking of time, they named Kid of the Year and it's you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So you were born in 2005, and I ended up having a kid that year as well. He was born October the 12th, and you were born in November. Tell us what that moment was like for you when you found out that they wanted to honor you in this way. It was just absolutely incredible, right? But it's also so honoring and humbling to have that opportunity to be kid of the year. But really more than anything, it's set up this platform for me to be an innovator, but also solicit new innovators into this wonderful world that STEM is. And beyond that too, it's really just helped me recognize how important science is in our daily lives. And a huge thank you to Time and Nickelodeon as well for really putting out the message of Gen Z, right? And what we're doing to tackle global problems. And I'm really excited that, that I get to be one of the faces of Gen Z as well. What are you hoping to do with your journey? Because the journey is long. So you're already starting yeah. here, right? What do you want to do with your beautiful brain? You know, what are you hoping to accomplish in life? What are some of your intentions? I hope to really, um, I guess, continue innovating, continue solving problems, but really working on my global outreach as well. Working with students across, just like me across the world who want to innovate and solve problems, but just don't know where to start. And I think along with that is, you know, just forming the movement of innovators looking to change the world for the better, especially students just like me who are my age and who do want to make a difference in the world. And I want to support them to be able to do that. I think you're extraordinary. Um, I want to wish you continued success and you know you are a science uh, and math uh, genius if you will and you want to inspire others to follow in your path. What's a good science fair project? Something simple that everybody would be able to do. What would you suggest? That Where could somebody start loving science the way that you do? I think my biggest thing to start loving science is start with this idea of what you like and go from there, right? Find something you're passionate about in the community around you. Find something you can connect to and solve problems from there. So all something that's always a great project is looking at how we can help solve with contamination of our natural resources. And what that means is preventing littering and global warming and contamination of our water and our air. And there's a lot that you can do with it. I like that very much. I, I think my science fair, uh, science fair project was uh, trying to make a cloud, you know, like with blue fo uh, food coloring and it, I was just having a flashback and then I think I did something with cow udders and how uh, cows have several stomachs, you know? So it's fun even for big kids That's like cool. me uh, that, that still love science. So thank you very much for joining us and I wish you continued success. Thank you, thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. Uh, there you go. You are the kid of the year. Woo! Woo. <laughs> Be well. Bye.